Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Steve from graphicdesignertips.com. This is episode number 11 of Logo Design Bootcamp, and every week we design a new fictitious logo based on a letter of the alphabet for you to learn from, and ultimately, in the end, you will become a better graphic designer. Today's episode is based on the letter K, and to tell you the honest truth, I had a really hard time thinking of a concept for the letter K, um, just because there's not too many prominent subjects with the letter K. I mean, yeah, you could do like kites, karate, uh, those are the things that I was thinking of company wise to, to make a fake brand of, but uh, ultimately in the end, I decided to be a little bit creative with the letter K and do a creative kangaroo logo right here. And, uh, it's actually, um, it was a very fun logo to put together because, uh, you got this cute little kangaroo jumping around on it, but it's more of a, uh, professional, it's a social media company. So it's a little bit more te technological. So let's jump into it. The Creative Kangaroo logo has a lot of little things going on in it, just to kind of add accents to it. Um, but let's start with the main part. The Creative Kangaroo, they both start with the word K, obviously for this tutorial, but it does work. It could work in real life too. Um, we got um, this font is called Great Vibes, and the little script the font, and the other font is uh, Bauhaus 93. Basically, you can use two different styles of fonts. Um, you know, that's like the rule of thumb, you know, in, in a logo. You don't want to be getting off, off track with too many styles of fonts. Um, although, you know, my .NET, I think, is uh, something different. But I just threw that in there last minute. But the um, social media firm is uh, also that same Great Vibes font. And what I did was to um, make the creative go on top of the kangaroo. I put a white stroke around it so it kind of breaks it apart. Because if you have black running into that straight-up color... The orange it's gonna look very funny uh, same thing down here with like on top of the S and the M you're gonna see how it kind of cuts out on top of everything it makes it its own entity although it cuts out the main word kangaroo you can still read it which is which is what you want <clears throat> um, I threw this bar in the back kind of as an accent at the end um, along with these little um these little dots um, that kind of go up uh, you know I don't know if they look like um, you know like fading from you know orange to white basically um, you got this kangaroo right here. Originally, I wanted, I was going to have him, you know, bounce all over the logo, but it was getting kind of busy. So I just had him kind of bounce right here, and he splits these letters. Uh, the A and the R are kind of arced, if you look over here. And that's really it on critiquing the logo. It's very balanced. It's, uh, you know, it's not too heavy on one side, although you got this, but it's, you know, it's it's a very um, nice horizontal logo. You can use it on most mostly anything. So let's jump into Illustrator and now actually build this logo. All right, so now we're in Adobe Illustrator CS6, and the first thing we're gonna do is type out this word kangaroo, and I am going to turn it to Bauhaus 93, which is a, I think it's a standard PC font. I'm on my Mac, so I had to download that on here. And um, I'm going to copy this and write the word creative. Only the Ks are capitalized now. And it's called Great Vibes is the name of the font. And we're just going to kind of shorten this. It's a little longer than the G. All right. So we're going to kind of put it on here. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do with Kangaroo is I'm going to outline my font. Actually, I'm going to select everything and go to Shift Command Zero or go to Object uh, Type Create Outlines. And now I have outlines on the font. Now what I'm going to do with this A, I'm going to move it over and I'm going to kind of turn it just a little bit. And the way that I did that is you hit the letter E on your keyboard, and that will let you kind of move it. And I'm going to select R with the direct selection, which is the A on the keyboard, the white arrow. I'm going to move that over a little bit, and I'm going to hit E again, and it's going to allow me to transform it and mess around with it a little bit, just like so. I'll probably move that, move these O's over a little bit. All right, so I got the word kangaroo. And I am going to take this letter G and I'm going to click, I'm, let's zoom in here. I'm going to click the edge of this with the direct selection. And I'm going to pull this over. I'm going to take this point. I'm just going to go like this. And that's how you get that little curve on the bottom. Now you can always smooth out just like on here by hitting Shift C and grabbing that point right there. And it's going to unwind it if you see what's happening right there. So try that Shift C. It's the uh, convert anchor point tool over here in the pen area. And so now we got that, that word kangaroo. And we're going to 
we're going to, what are we going to do? We're going to make this box behind it so we can see what's going on with some things. So let's make a box like this and have it go a little past the K. Not too much. All right. And then a little bit past the O. And we're going to, you know, fill it with whatever gradient you want. And we're going to go to Object, Arrange, Send to Back. And now we're going to take our direct selection, just take these top points, and we're going to nudge them over. Find 10, do like 10 clicks to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. Now, the reason I did that first, the background, is so you can see what we're going to do with this shadow right now, this uh, stroke. And we're going to take the word kangaroo, the entire word kangaroo, and we're going to click it, and we have it right now. And we're going to go to copy C, uh, excuse me, command C. And we're going to go to Command B, which is going to paste it right in back of itself. And we're going to put a white stroke on it. And we're going to come to our stroke area. And we're just going to increase the weight and watch what happens. Boom. All right. So that is going to definitely push it off of that background and give it some dimensionality. Um, watch. If you take it away. That's what it looked like. Now it looks like this. You know, it's it's very nice. It's much different. Um, we're going to um, take the word creative and we're going to do the same exact thing. Now we're going to make sure this is in front of it by going to object, arrange, bring to front. And we're going to take this this and put a gradient in it. And we're going to put that same gradient in it. And if you notice, you see how it looks just kind of funny right on top of that. And actually, let me fix my gradient by coming to the gradient tool and just messing around with it to where you want it to be. And basically, we're going to copy and we're going to hit Command B to copy in back of it. And we're going to put a white stroke on it just like before. And we're going to add a couple points. And it cuts it right out very, very nicely from the top. And the next thing we're going to do is we are going to type out social media firm in SOCIL. And I bet you can guess what we're going to do with this. We're going to do the same exact thing. And because I, I mean, I don't want it standing out here by itself. I want it to be a part of it, but I don't want it to be an eyesore either. So basically, I'm going to copy and paste in the back, put a white stroke, and we're going to increase the points on it. And come over here and do the corner, change it around a little bit, cap it, uh, excuse me, round join instead of a miter join. You know, mess with these. They're pretty fun. Um, you know, you get different effects out of everything. Actually, that's a little bit too much. I'm going to lower that. All right, there we go. Okay, so the next thing I am going to do is I am going to make these little boxes. All right, so we're going to come up here. We're going to make these boxes. I did four cross. So we're just going to have these, you know, fill with black for now. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to make these a little bit bigger. And we're going to come up one. We're gonna, uh, sh um, and the way that I'm doing this, I'm sorry, is shift option or option, click and move it and then hold shift at the same time. One, two, three, four, five, let's do like six rows. And we're going to select this. All right. And we're going to do a gradient in here. This is the gradient that I did. And it was basically a, an orange to a gray to a white. And the reason I did orange on the bottom was because you got this bar going from red to orange. I want the orange to continue, boom, to go to white. So we're going to do that a little bit more. So the, let's see, there we go. Okay. All right. So we're going to pull this bad boy over here to our actual logo that we're designing. And we're just going to... Put them right here, just like this. We're going to copy. And we're going to make sure it's behind everything by going to Object. Actually, let's group this. Command G. That groups it. Object, Arrange, Bring to Back. OK, now it's nice behind that white uh, stroke from before. And you're not going to see it behind any of these, really. But you'll see it starting with the A. We're going to do two of these. And maybe just stretch it out a little bit just to fudge it. All right. And we're going to do that with the R. We got the R. We got the O. And we're just going to keep Option Shift clicking and moving everything over until we got it to where we want to be. 
And obviously, if you look at mine over here, I did smaller squares. They're more spaced apart. This is a little bit different of an effect, but this logo probably took me two hours to finish from the time I started. Um, I had another idea, which I was rolling with, um, but it didn't make the cut. But basically, uh, all I'm going to do now is delete a couple of these boxes. So it... Oh, I don't want to delete that one. So it looks like he's kind of bouncing in here and making a mess. And... I'm going to drag this guy over here that I drew already. So, you know, that's it's going to have to be your own custom design that you do on this guy. Um, you know, or if you're sometimes people send me their logos that they do based on these tutorials, and they change them up. So, if you want to do like a frog or something, you know, you know, uh, let's see, um, creative frog or something. I don't know. But we're going to make this little kind of like he's motion type of thing. One, two, three. All right. Kind of looks like he's bouncing in there and he's messing the R A and the R are kind of pushing apart. And that's it. Uh, besides putting the dot net, let's do that right now. A couple little cool fun things in here. Um, you know, sometimes it's... You know, just messing around with type, even these little accents like the A and the R moving. Um, you know, this in the background, of course, it, it adds to it big time. It gives dimensionality. And uh, you got this You got this G over here. You know, it, it adds a lot when he's, you know, I mean, that even looks kind of cool. You know, depending on what you're looking for. But, um, yeah, that's it. All right, so thanks for joining us for another episode of Logo Design Boot Camp. It's great. I've been getting so much great feedback on this, and we're not even halfway through the series. So if you have any ideas for future videos, um, even themes for future letters, definitely let me know. I'll consider them um, as the fact that this is kind of, I do this all on, on the fly. So if you have an idea that I haven't thought of yet, shoot it over. Uh, definitely comment on this video if you liked it, if it helped you out, uh, which means it'll definitely help somebody else out. Subscribe to our channel. Uh, we also got some more videos. Check them out, other episodes. And um, that's really it. I'm Steve from graphicdesignertips.com. I'm happy you're learning. Um, and that's all it's all about. So have a good night, everybody. Peace.